Hey team and welcome to today's recovery ride. My name is Mikey and we have a 30 minute session coming up for you today. That perfect session for the day after a longer or a tougher ride. Just an opportunity to spin out those legs or if you're looking to put an easier session in today, this is the one for you. What does it look like? We start five minutes in zone one and then have three repetitions of six minutes in zone two with one minute of zone three in between those blocks. Without further ado, we're gonna hit start and get pedaling. Here we go. Just five minutes to get the ball rolling, nice and easy in that zone one. Just really opening up those legs. I myself did a strength work yesterday, a strength workout yesterday, and I'm feeling the pain in my quads, so first five minutes just to get the blood pumping again, the legs warmed up, the muscles a little looser, which are currently a bit tight. This workout will help loosen them up a bit. Get any of that lactic flowing. Help flush your legs out a little. That is the aim of today. And of course, riding in our zone two, where we'll be for the majority of this workout, that'll be teaching our bodies to burn fat more efficiently as fuel. So just a bit of trivia for you there. Really just nice and easy. Minute and a half in. Got another three and a half to go here, just in the zone one. It really is light, easy pedaling. That's it, keep it coming, three more minutes. Nice, slow, steady start. As your heart rate starts to rise, as you feel yourself starting to sweat, that's when things will start loosening up a little. Get a bit of relief, hopefully, from any of that training that you've put in. Or if you're just here for a light, easy workout, then welcome. Another two minutes, just focusing in on our form. So dropping those shoulders down, don't want to see them up like this, drop them down and we're releasing any of that tension in the neck. Just focusing on having that flat lower back rather than an arched lower back. Pedaling nice and consistently. Close to a level foot as we stroke through the rotation. helping carry the power efficiently and effectively from one leg to the other. Putting those knees in a little closer towards the top tube, just to line up your knee, if you're drawing a straight line down from your knee to your foot, the point at which you make contact with the pedal. If you're wearing cleats, that'll be easier to judge. Just 
another 30 seconds. Then we are coming up into our zone two. Yes, that's it. Okay, so pushing up a couple gears in five seconds, get ready. Three, two, one. Yes. Just zone two, nothing too heavy here. Remember, recovery ride. That is the aim of the game here. Today's session is just focused on giving your body the rest and recovery it deserves. Keeping it relatively comfortable today. for another five minutes. Be interested to know what kind of session you got up to before this one. Treating this as your recovery ride. What kind of high intensity or long miles efforts did you get up to? Let me know in the comments section down below. I'd be very interested to hear. But for now, really just cruising along here for four more minutes. That is 240 seconds, if you were interested in knowing. Keep it coming. doing really good. Like I've mentioned in previous videos, zone two where we are now, is that kind of pace that you can ride all day in. You can pretty much keep pedaling indefinitely in your zone two with the right state of mind. It's the level of intensity that I personally work at when I'm doing my big ultra endurance races. It's very much a hare and the tortoise story. And I'm definitely the tortoise in those cases. But yes, this is the pace to go. where fatigue will pretty much stay at bay, riding just here. Another two minutes, then we have a zone three effort coming up. For that zone three, we're gonna keep the gearing the same, so don't adjust your resistance. What we will do is just increase the leg speed to charge us up into zone three. 
So you'll notice that the rate of your pedal rotation is going to increase. This will likely challenge you a little bit out of your comfort zone. It'll be above a rate that you're typically used to pedaling. But that's all good. It's all part of the training. If you'd be interested in a cadence specific session, let me know down below. For one more minute. Oh, that's it. Can you hear the rain outside? Glad I'm indoors today. Okay, another 35 seconds. Ten more seconds, remember. Keeping the resistance, the gear the same. We're just gonna increase our pedal stroke. We're gonna pedal faster in three, two, one. Zone three. Just one minute. So you find you'll have to pedal quite fast. It's probably going to be over 100 RPM, over 100 revolutions per minute. If you don't have a count for that, then it's the number of times you see one leg charge down in a minute. So you can have a look on a stopwatch or a bike computer in front of you and then just count the number of times your one leg goes down. You can do it for 30 seconds and then times by two. That's also an option. 10 more seconds remaining and we come back to zone two, all right? Five seconds, three, two, one. Reduce the intensity. All right, good stuff team. That is one of three blocks done. Got another two more in our zone two. Six minutes like the previous. Then coming up towards halfway through today's workout. Our recovery, our rest, our cool down. All right. Just focusing in on that form again. Keeping those shoulders down. Relaxing that upper body. Find that sweet spot position on your saddle. How you doing, all right? Okay. Holding zone two. You are coming up to halfway for today.
You'll see 15 minutes coming up on that rock. Alright, that's it, halfway. Three more minutes of this zone two effort. So you should really just be getting a light sweat on today, unless it is mega, mega hot where you're riding. It should just be a light sweat. But then I talk from personal experience of not sweating all that much. So maybe a medium sweat. Maybe a medium. Two more minutes. Doing good. Just keeping it up, keeping it consistent. That's all you have to do today. Nothing overly strenuous. Just really focusing on getting it done. One more minute. Alright, so another 15 seconds, then zone 3 again. Like before, gonna stay in the same gear, the same resistance, and just increase our pedal stroke, our cadence, to go faster in 3, 2, 1, 1 minute, zone 3, push it up a little bit. Want to see that leg speed of yours increasing? You can see mine. If you don't have a cadence meter, you can follow the speed of my legs or count for yourself. Thirty seconds remaining. Ten more, then back to zone two. Five seconds. Three, two, one. And just reducing that RPM, that leg speed, all right? How are we doing? Good? You good? All right, cool. Final block of zone two. That'll take us to 25 minutes, and then we'll have a five minute cool down in zone one. Easy. 
You got it. We'll ride it out together. It's not the most exciting workout. But it just keeps you active on your rest day. Or keeps you active on a day where you don't feel like pushing all too hard. <coughs> but it's better doing something than doing nothing. So that's it, keeping it going. Four more minutes. That's it, 240 seconds. I know you were thinking it. Nah. All right, good stuff. Come on, team. Three more, three more minutes. Holding zone two, nice and steady. Doing good. Two more. Just keep pedaling, just keep pedaling. What movie is that from? You know the answer to that, maybe. Pretty much a minute and a half left. Final minute coming up. The last minute, zone two, holding. See that consistent leg speed, please. Then it's zone one, we have just a five minute cool off in that zone one.
Final 30 seconds. Ten more. Gearing down in five, three, two, and one. Good stuff. All right. Last five minutes just to pedal easy, really. Just to keep the engine going. Idling, essentially. Keeping that engine idling. Just turning the pedals, going through these last few minutes together. No real experience of stress here. Hopefully a lot of that discomfort associated with your fatigue has dissipated. Mine certainly has, so thank you. Another four minutes. Hello? Hello? <laughs> it's my mom. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello, we're just calling you to see how you are today. I'm good, I'm just uh, finishing off a uh, bike recovery ride film. You're uh, now officially part of the recording, so thank you. Yeah, I'll call you in five. We're nearly done. Okay. All right, lots of love. Lots of love. Bye. <laughs> All right, team. Three more minutes. <laughs> that is fun. That added a bit of excitement to my 30 minute recovery ride. Hopefully added a little something to yours as well. <sighs> Nearly there. Two minutes, da 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 da. I hope you got a great day or a great evening planned. Something chilled, a nice something to eat. A nice something to relax and do. Once you get into the rhythm of these sessions, it's just a nice thing to do to wind down. Give your body the break and rest it deserves. Our final minute here. Nearly there.
30 seconds. Then we're off the bike. That'll be it for today. 20 more. Your final 10. Five, three, two, one. Thumbs up. Guys, massive thank you for today. Thank you for doing it with me. That was our recovery session. I hope you are feeling sufficiently recovered. If not now, then hopefully by tomorrow when you hit it hard again. My name is Mikey, thank you for taking part. If you like the video, do give it a thumbs up. If you've got any comments, drop me a note down in the description box below. And please subscribe for more of longer, shorter, and somewhere in between sessions, tougher, easier, catering to all abilities. Anyway, have yourself a good one. Bye from me.